big long poem going, oh, what's next? I forget. Instantly would have gone out after that. It's, right. Dun, 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 dun. I can't even read my mind. This is the brilliant thing about being dyslexic. Is you're like, well, I don't know what that is, so I'll just make some shit up. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, so, okay, I once met a lion. Um, I thought he looked the royal sort. But instead of running down gazelles, he looked run down to hell. On the savannah he was seated, but a downbeaten, defeated, depleted by life. So I thought I'd ask him why. I walked over to him. I bowed to him. And I got on my knees. He said, please. I ain't the king of the jungle. I'm just a working class man. And I don't know where you get this king for him from, because first of all, I don't see no jungle. And second, I'm sitting in the dirt just like you. I said, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to imply. He replied, hey, it's fine, you seem like a nice guy. It's just we seem to get misrepresented from those inside. You know, those conservatives in captivity, you seem to think, yeah, it should be someone's job to feed me. I said, don't worry, mate, I know what you mean. But you can't let that fill you with sorrow. And especially in times like this when you're wondering how to make it through to tomorrow, it's easy to begin to question your morals. And I wonder how any of us working class mammals could not be filled with doubt, especially in times like this in such a drastic drought. He said, the problem is this, my friend. We live in such a time where people would rather point a camera at me and watch me die, just to have another tally on a chart, to make a pretty graph and make it look like they're winning instead of trying to find a heart and trace those statistics to their beginning. I noticed he was sitting alone, so I asked him, where's the rest of your pride? He replied, pride, <laughs> pride. Now there's another lie. Well, to put it simply, if I want to survive, I have to, cr pride's the first thing to be left behind. I have to create contact between throat and enamel and kill another working class mammal. I have to fearlessly risk my neck. I have to fearlessly face broken bones and death. I have to fearlessly face shame and regret. Just to feed myself. Just to feed my child. But this is what it means to be wild. This is what it means to be free. And it means sometimes life treats you harshly and that will make you question captivity. And you may think you want things to be easy and that may think that's how you succeed. And who would want to run and sweat with panted breath just to feed their family? I said, well, not me. So maybe I'll trade in all my morals, proclaim myself king of the jungle. But deep down inside, I'm just a working class man.